Has someone ever belittled you and your worth because of your age? Are you determined to make a change on your own accord? Unfortunately, generations before us believe that our age defines who we are and the change that we can create. However, what these older generations fail to realize is that their advocacy is not being kept up to speed with us in 2018. Let me tell you my story. In high school, I was bullied. I was called names, treated poorly, and I felt like I didn't belong. I vividly remember one person saying to me, I don't like to be seen with you because everyone thinks you're annoying. I was distraught by all of this. Because of this, I dropped out of high school and I received my GED. I didn't want anyone to feel the same way that I did. Because of this, I founded Diverse Gaming Coalition, a 501c3 fighting for a change in online and real life communities through modern concepts and pop culture. I didn't want anyone to feel the same way that I had in high school. We modernize the conversation on bullying, and one way that we do this is through our state-of-the-art comic book, Life on the Outside. This is a comic that follows Asher Phoenix, a non-binary person of color, and their journey throughout high school. Non-binary pretty much means someone who doesn't identify as male or female. The story goes as follows. Asher starts out in a history class, and the teacher says that everyone needs to get into groups for a class assignment. Asher is sitting alone when Shelly, who happens to be Asher's neighbor, notices that Asher is sitting alone and invites Asher to join in on her group. Her group also consists of our antagonist in this story, Daryl. Things start sour when Asher is talking and Daryl uses the incorrect pronouns for Asher. And when Asher corrects Daryl, Daryl calls Asher a freak. Throughout the story and them working on the project, Asher is confronted with verbal and physical bullying and harassment. Asher is thrown against the locker. Asher's DS is broken by Daryl. Asher gets home that day and has a breakdown. Asher can't take any more of it. Asher remembers that there are neighbors with Shelly and they want to find comfort somewhere. So Asher goes to Shelly and tells Shelly what's happening. Shelly hears all of this and wants to do something about it. So the next day, when they're presenting their presentation, Asher's making the final remarks. Daryl makes a snarky comment and says, I'm surprised you did anything. Asher ends off the story by saying, I'm, you should be surprised that I reported your actions to the principal. I decided to create this story after a member in my community felt the same way our main character, Asher, did. I didn't want anyone to feel this way, and I wanted them to be represented the way that they should be. The new reality is modern innovation into how we can discuss these social issues. Let me ask you a couple questions. What social issues are, your, are you passionate about? What cause do you, you want to advocate for? Who do you want to be an advocate for? Although you may not have the answer to these questions today, here are some ways that you could get involved with your own advocacy project. Advocacy can be defined as public support for or recommendation of a particular cause or policy. It's what drives change into our world. It what's, it's what creates a braver and kinder world.
the tools that are available to us today in the 21st century are outstanding. We have social media, video games, applications, the list can go on and on. These tools are used to help us create the best advocacy projects that we can have. For example, Black Lives Matter is heavily reliant on the use of social media, not only to create change, but to rally followers. Because of this, they have sparked a change in the community that they serve. Not only do they rally followers and post about their message, but they inspire people to start their own advocacy projects because of what they put out there. For me, combining an interest of comic books with my passion for advocacy, I was able to create my story and tell how I wanted to, choose how I wanted to tell that story. But maybe you don't have a topic in mind, and that's okay. I care deeply about various social issues, and it can be hard to stick to a certain topic. When you choose a topic, you should be able to focus on the greater good, not just you. For example, when these adults would come into my high school and talk about bullying, they didn't understand bullying at all. They were talking about bullying generally, rather than talking about bullying happening, for, for instance, in my high school. Not only that, you should be able to diversify your project. Every project can benefit from diversity. For instance, my comic book has a non-binary and person of color main character. With that in mind, we should be able to take into account who we're representing in these comic books. Don't be afraid to ask for the viewpoints of a non-binary and person of color. By asking for these viewpoints, I was able to solidify my message and create the most meaningful impact that I could possibly have. At the end of the day, when you're doing your advocacy project, you should do what makes you happy. When you pour your heart and your passion and your soul into everything you do, it will create the most meaningful and impactful project that you can possibly have. So don't be, don't be afraid to utilize the tools that are given to you. Choose that topic that you want to tackle and use that topic to fight for others and to fight for change. And of course, do what makes you happy. When you combine all these factors into your work, you'll be able to create the most meaningful and an impactful project that you could have. Thank you.